the Court of Final Appeal has ruled against a prison order that male inmates must cut their hair short, saying that constituted discrimination. The ruling was a vindication for former lawmaker Leung Kwa Hong, who launched this legal challenge six years ago. Johanna Chen has more. Leung Kwok Hong, also known as Long Hair, walked out of the Court of Final Appeal holding the written judgment that ruled in his favor. He declared it a victory for society's rights. Well, it's very late, the justice. I think today the justice has been done a bit but in, in the court, but I think uh, the, 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 the justice uh, needs to be done in in. in, in outside the court as well. The former lawmaker launched his legal battle after Correctional Services staff cut his signature flowing locks without his consent during his jail time in 2014. Under prison standing orders, a male inmate's hair must be cut sufficiently close for health and cleanliness. But the hair of female prisoners cannot be cut short without consent, unless recommended by a medical officer. Leung took the department to court, citing gender discrimination. He won in the high court three years ago, but the decision was overturned by the Court of Appeal a year later. The higher court said the correctional services rules did not greatly impact prisoners or carry much public importance. In the Court of Final Appeal, the Correctional Services Commissioner continued to argue that there is no unequal treatment in terms of discipline. The commissioner also claimed hair uniformity de-emphasizes individuality and contributes to custodial discipline. But Chief Justice Jeffrey Ma disagreed, saying in his written judgment that there is no reasonable connection between hair length and custodial discipline. He said female prisoners have a choice on the length of their hair, and there was no explanation for the different treatment. The judge also said the order assumed social norms regarding hair length, amounting to stereotyping. Johanna Chan, HKIBC.